a warm welcome. Today, let us discuss a short but meaningful poem, Indian Weavers, written by Sarojini Naidu. Let's start. The poem Indian Weavers is written by the famous Indian poet, political activist, and an important figure in the national struggle for independence, Sarojini Naidu. Being the first woman to hold the office of governor in independent India showcases her talent and courage. She was also known as the Nightingale of India by Mahatma Gandhi because of color, imagery and lyrical quality of her poetry. Now let us talk about the poem. From the title itself we understand that the short poem is about weavers in an Indian setting taken from the collection The Golden Threshold. During the British rule, weavers faced many problems. As raw cotton was being exported to England, there was a shortage of raw materials. But the weavers did not give up. They focused on their work and dedicatedly completed the task at hand. The poem talks about three types of garments, the different times of the day, and how they correlate to, to the important life events, that is, birth, youth, and death. The poem is in a question-answer form. The first two lines of each stanza contain the question and the last two lines the answer. The important themes in this poem center around the life cycle of human beings. As said earlier, it talks about the birth, youth and death of human beings. The poem adds the contrast moods and its effect on the color chosen for the garments. The poem stresses on the important work done by the weavers no matter what the occasion is. Hence, we have to respect their hard work and the efforts taken by them. Weavers go through happy and sad emotions while weaving the clothes, but they don't let these emotions stand in their way. Now let us start with the poem. Weavers weaving at break of day why do you weave a garment so gay? Now please note the time here. The weavers are weaving at the break of day, which means the dawn time. It is early morning, fresh and bright start to the day. Here the morning is compared to the birth of a child, beginning of a new life. Hence the garment woven is also gay, which means that the weavers are happy and enthusiastic while weaving the garment. The weavers reply. So they say that they have chosen the bright blue colors of which is the kingfisher bird. Uh, you can see from the picture uh, how attractive the blue color looks on his wings. Blue color symbolizes beauty, opportunity, excitement and stands for something precious. Thus by weaving such colorful garment they welcome the newborn child in this world where everyone is happy and joyful on its arrival. This stage of life is full of happiness, hope, beauty and freshness. In the second stanza, the question asked is, Weavers weaving at fall of night why do you weave a garment so bright? Now here we can see that the weavers are weaving the garment at the fall of night which means the evening time or the dusk time. The sun is about to set now and darkness will creep in. But the sight is breathtakingly beautiful. Just as we are in our youth, in our prime, we are strong, confident, ambitious and excited about our life. This is the stage where we look out for our life partners, get married and settle down. 
Hence, the garment woven here is very bright, just like our wedding dresses. The weavers reply, Like the plumes of a peacock purple and green, we weave the marriage wheels of a queen. The weavers say that they have chosen the bright and attractive colors like purple and green of a peacock. Uh, these colors stand for the ups and downs in our life. The garment is royal and hence the bride wearing such a beautiful garment looks just like a queen. This stage is the adult stage where we enjoy all the perks that life has to offer to us. We are healthy, we are strong and we can enjoy our life to the fullest. In this stage, there is hope for a better and prosperous life. In the final stanza, the question asked is, We was weaving solemn and still. Why do you weave in the moonlight chill? So here in the final stanza, we can see that the weavers are solemn. Uh, means they have a very serious expression. They are not smiling. They are feeling sad. Uh, so they are weaving something in the dead of the night. And uh, that garment is colorless and lifeless. The weavers reply, White as a feather and white as a cloud, we weave a dead man's funeral shroud. So here we understand that they are weaving a shroud, uh, which means a cloth which is used to cover the dead body. This represents the final stage of human life, which is death. And it is equally lifeless and emotionless just like a white cloud or a white feather. It is a chilly moonlight and the weavers are weaving in silence. Thus the entire atmosphere symbolizes destruction and death. However, the white color also symbolizes eternal peace and calm that comes with death. Now, let us find out the rhyme scheme of the poem. Pause the video and try to figure out the rhyme scheme on your own. Okay, this is the rhyme scheme of the poem. It goes A A B B C C D D E E and F F. Now, please remember if the rhyme scheme of the entire poem is asked, you are expected to write it in this way. But if the rhyme scheme of any particular stanza is asked in the exam, you can start your rhyme scheme with A. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Take care.